Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Judge Kasabai, um, I'm looking at an order you issued as a magistrate judge here um, requiring the use of uh, pronouns in your court. Um, do, do you require the use of pronouns, the declaration of one's pronouns in your court? Senator, that may be referring to perhaps a trial management order or a scheduling order of, of some kind? Yeah. Uh, no, it's it, a statement. You issued it. Here it is. Oh, uh, uh, the, it's an invitation for people to, to identify their, their uh, pronouns uh, and or their honorifics. Well, I'm, I'm looking at, the, at, the, at your requirement that you issued to all people in your court. You say, quote, when you introduce yourself in a meeting, you should say, my name is Judge Blank and my pronouns are blank. Is uh, and, that right? Uh, Senator, th those were not requirements or rules. Th those were, were suggestions and-, and That was and suggestions. Th those were suggestions and invitations for people okay. to use. And you also, uh, in your directive, you say, quote, I'd like counsel to introduce themselves giving your full name and your honorific, such as Ms. and Ms. Period, Mix, or Mr., not Mrs., and if your client will be making an appearance, I ask you to please introduce them to the court by giving me their full name and their honorific, such as Ms. and Ms. Period, Mix, or Mr., end quote. Is that right? Senator, it's not a directive. It, again, it's an invitation for people to introduce oh, an themselves. Invitation. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'm looking at an article in, uh, from uh, the Oregon State Bar Bulletin from May of 2021. Um, and I want to want to uh, read one of your quotes. Quote. We have to set aside conventional ideas of proof. Let me, set us, let me say that again. We have to set aside conventional ideas of proof, you said, when we are dealing with the personal and interpersonal work of equity, division, and inclusion. As a judge, I can appreciate the challenge of employing a different mode for understanding truth than that which most lawyers are accustomed to in our work, end quote. Did, did you write that? That, that is a, a quote from that, that uh, article. So when we're dealing with equity, diversity, and inclusion, we should set aside conventional ideas of proof. Is that right? In the larger context of interpersonal and personal relationships, uh, the idea of being able to have a conversation with somebody. Yeah, but you didn't talk about a conversation. You said proof. It, it, it's in the context of having a conversation with somebody about the issue of their background so and their experience. When, when the issue is equity, diversity, or inclusion, we should have a different set of proof. Is that right? When it comes to the 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 space in which people have interpersonal relationships with, with one another, the idea of respecting and dignifying each other with their experiences is an important part so, of... So, so all issues have one set of proof, which has been handed down by our state Supreme Courts, our U.S. Supreme Court, except you think we ought to have a different set of proof when equity, diversity, and inclusion are at issue. Is that right? In all of my years on the bench, uh, Senator, I have apply the law, the rules of evidence, the okay. case precedent. Let me move on. Um, I'm looking at the notes you gave us from your, a speech you made in February 7, 2020. It's entitled Speech Reflections on Equity and Privilege to the Oregon Blacks in Government. You wrote, quote, white male straight people allow privilege to remain in place, close quote. Did you say that? Did you write that? Uh, without looking at the, the specific uh, here speech here. turned it in. Uh, well, if that's, in, if that's on the piece of paper, Senator, then, then uh, I, I have okay. no reason to disagree. You also wrote, quote, privilege is incredibly similar to narcissistic personality disorder, close quote. Did you write that? Without looking at everything in the context of that statement, it, it appears correct. Okay. You wrote, quote, the identity of Muslims also need to be normalized 
in a country that is so deeply Islamophobic. Did you write that? Senator, I did. And what I'd also like to clarify is that in the context of my work on the bench, I have treated everybody equally without regard to their background. I'm sorry, I just want to get through this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of time. You also wrote, quote, I am disappointed about the way in which the founding fathers of this country perpetuated inequity, close quote. Did you write that? In the, the context of the issue of slavery, that was something that I, I, I had okay. been considering. In a, your notes you gave us from a speech on May 17, 2023, does race matter? You said, quote, quote, does race matter? Hell yes, close quote. You know that that T-shirt at the Saturday markets, the one that says something like love, see no color, and it has all the colors of the rainbow all over it, and it's like a tie-dye shirt. Well, the first time I saw it, I said, ah, how sweet. Then I got angry. If love doesn't see color, then I don't have allies, close quote. Did you say that? Yes, and that was to explain that the, the work of equity is to help understand where people are coming from, not to ignore who they are. And you also... Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Can I keep 30 more seconds? Judge... You seem to be obsessed with race and sexuality. I mean, you even go f so far as to say that when race and sexuality and diversity and, and inclusion are at issue, we need a separate standard of proof in the United States federal judiciary. How are litigants going to be able to trust you? Senator, that's not what I've said. There is sure, no different standard. It's bigger than Dallas. I read it to you. When you, you look turned at, in these documents. I didn't go looking for them. When you, you seem proud at, of it. As uh, anyone who reviews my record on the bench, I have thousands of cases. I'm going to let you finish responding, and we're, your time has expired, but go ahead. The rule of law is an absolute for me. The work that I have done on the bench over but the last 16 years. That's not what you say. The work that I've done on the bench. But that's not what you say. you say. Judge, finish your sentence. The work that I've done on the bench in ruling over all the people's cases that have appeared in front of me from all backgrounds of all faiths, you'll find that I have upheld the rule of law and upheld the precedent of our Constitution and our, our Supreme Court and the Ninth Circuit. Well, if this chairman would give me time, I could go through the cases and well, prove that that's not the case. Senator I just Senator. don't see how you can be a fair-minded judge. Senator Booker. Uh, 